What's up Top Shaggers? Welcome back. So it's been about four weeks now since I did a video because they had two weeks off with the kids for the half term and then I decided to get a bout of COVID-19 which was nice um, and I have 10 days at home uh, with that so I couldn't go out of the house but I did not die which is good but that does mean we have still got an RX7 to paint and obviously now we've lost about four weeks um, it's coming into summer now just getting a few nice days so we best crack on I think Last time I was down here, we found a bit of rust, but uh, yeah, it was a while, so tonight we'll probably be fixing that. So let's get on with it. All right, so this is where the patch was. So in there, I was sanding it down for paint and we got to this bit and seen a bit of bubbling. So I did a bit of digging and basically this was just like a bit of tin foil. So I thought, no point missing it now and um, we're painting the car anyway what I reckon had happened is where the seam sealer was at the back of it it just had a little split in from the factory and it's got a bit of water in there and just rotted out from the inside so yeah we've got to make up a little panel for that uh, it's been a while since I've made any panels so it'll be interesting but yeah we'll use the old cardboard method and um, I've got a shrinker and a stretcher to try and get the curve of the arch and basically we've just got to make a little patch panel to fit in there get it welded in and then we can start prepping the rest of the body and to get some epoxy on it so yeah let's go all right so we're back inside push the car in because it's getting dark already and i spent about an hour making this tiny little template so that seems to fit all right um, not sure how long I'm going to stay down here tonight because it's sort of in the middle of nowhere and I don't want Dirty Mike and the boys to turn up and uh, take turns on me. So hopefully uh, we'll see what we get done tonight. I'm going to cut this out of some metal now and then we've got some random tools over here. So we've got a shrinker and a stretcher um, which I'm going to use on this edge to try and curve it uh, to match the arch. And then I've just got some random panel beating hammers and that um, that we're going to try and just beat a piece of metal with. So yeah, we'll get the grinder out, cut a piece of metal and see how we get on. Right, so we've got that plate fitting in there. So pretty nice at the minute. It's all nice and flat. Now what we've got to do, I've tried to trace the line of where we need to start the bend. And then this arch has got like a gradual bend around it. So we'll try and replicate that and get the patching perfect. Um, these magnets uh, from Eastwood do not make the fucking mistake. I had one in my mouth. Like, you know, I was just holding the plate. I put one to put one in my mouth, but it was like like that, and then it fucking snapped on my lip. <laughs> it fucking killed. These are fucking monsters. So yeah, we got these for the Datsun, um, but obviously we've not worked on that in a while. Uh, but if you do want to see the Datsun, we'll be starting it again at the end of May when Liam's back, because um, he's basically coming back to the UK and he's going to be both of us. But yeah. Um, I'll bend that now, try and get it to the right profile, so it'll be ready to weld in. Alright, so this is where we're at at the minute. So we've got that patch in. This is attempt number two. On the first one, I'd basically bent it too early and it ended up too short. but. It pretty much fits in there perfect, so I'm pretty happy with that. How it matches sort of the bend radius of the arch. Uh, when we get that welded in, um, I don't think you'll be able to tell it's well. Obviously, we'll body work it, but you won't be able to tell it's there anyway. So I'm pretty happy with that. But I'm going to call it a night tonight because it's about half ten and it's pitch black out there. I can hear Dirty Mike rustling in the bushes, getting ready for me. 
So tomorrow, bank holiday, going to spend that with the family and then we'll come back down here on Tuesday and we'll get it welded in. So catch you on Tuesday. Good morning, welcome back. So it's now Tuesday, um, I had bank holiday yesterday and because it's the UK, it just rained all day, which is pretty standard. Uh, but today we have got the panel in. So it took me a little while to make it, um, probably because I'm a little bit rusty. And but I'd, I would rather get it fit in perfect uh, with the metal than just slapping something in that isn't 100% and then have to put you know way too much body for the one. Obviously, we're gonna have to skim it anyway um, as part of the bodywork process, but. Um, if you can only put a little bit on, it's always better. So what we've got to do now is we're going to take all the paint off. Going to use this 3M plastic wheel that Liam got for doing the Datsun. Um, not used it before, but apparently they're supposed to be really good. So we'll give it a bash and then we will get it painted with this copper weld through. Um, and then we'll fire the Artec welder up and we'll get welded in. Uh, hopefully we can get that done before I've got to go to work. All right, so that's now welded in. Obviously not all the way, because um, I don't want to put too much heat into it. First time using the Artec in anger, really. Uh, I've only ever used it for practicing, but it's pretty decent. That was first time in a fair few years that I've done some sheet metal work. So I didn't blow massive holes in it, which is a winner. So what I'll do now is I'll let it cool down, and then I will join these uh, tax up or spot welds so to speak um, until it's consistent and then we can grind it back and hopefully um, we shouldn't be able to tell it was there and then we'll just slap some uh, glazing putty or body filler over the top and we can move on to getting this thing painted All right, so that is now welded up. Oh, you bastard, don't lean on mole grips. Uh, so that's welded up, um, ground back. It was a little bit lower than uh, the surrounding panel, but not too much. Um, I clearly mixed up too much body filler. Uh, it didn't take much at all. So hopefully that will go off in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we'll give it a block back and then we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully, you know, it'll only take one or two uh, skims of body filler and then we'll be back to doing some body work. So this is where we're at now. Um, it's had two coats of filler and then just blocked down with, I think I blocked it first with an 80 and then went up to 240. And I've just put a little bit of primer over it to see where we're at. And it's pretty flat to be fair. But obviously that's gonna be it for today. We've done the rust repair. Um, and next video, um, we're gonna be taking the doors off, taking the hatch off and then concentrating on getting the shell painted. So we're gonna put some epoxy primer on it. Um, I've got a couple of days this week uh, free, so hopefully we can get a decent coat of primer on it this week and maybe even get it blocked down because the weather's picking up in the next week or so um, because it's been a bit cold for painting in a minute. But once it gets up towards like 15, 20 degrees, uh, hopefully we can get some base coat and lacquer on the shell and then once the shell's painted, I'll be a lot happier and we can just do all the little panels off the car. But yeah, gotta go to work now. So as always, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.